I am so looking forward to seeing a reading of this play at the Fountain Theater. I am thrilled to have Karen to, uh, for us to finally work together and the younger actresses in it look um, really wonderful. So to hear new voices in the play is very exciting to me. It was initially produced at Ensemble Studio Theater in their one act marathon of plays. So I saw a superb cast there. And now I just wanna see what these actors do to it and for it. My name is Laura Maria Sensabella. And if you'd like to learn about my play, Interviewing Miss Davis, which is going to be read at the Fountain Theater on December 19th, please watch this video. So the idea for Interviewing Miss Davis came years after I had an interview with her as um, to be her personal assistant. And it was um, an extraordinary experience, of course, to meet this icon. She was very diminished physically, but not um, emotionally. And her will was so strong, even though she was so um, frail. And um, she was um, ferocious in the interview and um, rather intimidating. And so was her personal assistant. Her personal assistant was really lovely, but um, so polished and so sophisticated. And I was just out of school and felt um, anything but. And um, so I had this experience, which I tucked away because it had been a very profound experience. And then years later, I was at an artist colony at the Virginia Center for the Creative Arts. And I was telling the story of the interview process at a dinner table and making everyone laugh. And um, a bunch of them said to me, you have to write it as a play. And I said, I think you're right, but I don't know exactly what the story is about. And one of them said to me, oh, that's simple. It's about you, the day you became a writer. And once I knew what it was about, then I was able to construct the interview using a lot of what actually happened, a lot of what she actually said. And then of course, um, a lot of what ifs and invention as well. So the characters in the play are a young um, woman coming to be interviewed. She's just out of college. She's had a very rough life. Working for Betty Davis would be the height of glamour. It would put her in a category of the kind of life she always wanted to travel, to meet sophisticated people. And then the other character in the play is Betty Davis's current assistant who is getting married and is desperate to leave Miss Davis, even though they have a very warm relationship. And they have seen many, many, many candidates and no one is right for Betty Davis. In truth, because she doesn't wanna lose this incredible personal experience, uh, assistant who nursed her through breast cancer. And then um, Betty Davis makes an entrance and you know the interview really begins. And um, the story is about um, when you're young, you know, you wanna make your mark on the world and it can seem so daunting how long it's going to take and how indifferent the world is to you. So it's a play about choosing, are you going to choose kind of the fast track or are you going to be an artist and maybe have years of obscurity, uh, but that's what you feel is your authentic self. I would love the audience to, first of all, experience Betty Davis in all her complexity. She was ferocious, but also incredibly vulnerable. And it's the vulnerability we're all going to have when you are close to death. And um, also I think she was very, very lonely at that point in time. And so I would like an audience to both be horrified by, by her behavior and also understand it. And then um, there's a lot in the play about mothers because both of the young women are, Betty Davis would be a kind of surrogate mother to the new candidate and has already been to the assistant. So it's a play, even though it's not, they're not blood mothers and daughters, 
it is a play about mothers and daughters and what will you give up? Also, Betty Davis at this particular time was about to um, read the book that her daughter had written about her. And she knew her daughter BD, and she knew it was not a flattering portrait. And she was really terrified by that. So she was having her own daughter issues. And I think the two young women in the play have mother issues to work out. And so that also gets worked out in addition to art and authenticity. I'm Laura Maria Sensabella. And if you enjoyed this conversation, I hope you'll come watch the play interviewing Miss Davis on December 19th. I will be there and I look forward to talking with the audience afterwards.